الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاه والسلام على عباده الذين استفى اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الله اصطفى ادم ونوحا وعلى ابراهيم وعلى عمران على العالمين ذريه بعضها من بعض والله سميع عليم صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا واعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى امين يا رب العالمين as i told you in the second portion of the first part of surah al imran actually now the address is directed towards the christians and to tell them what was the real position of hazrat masih alai salatu wassalam but for that as is the general practice with the quran the discussion is starting from hazrat adam and then hazrat nuh and then hazrat ibrahim and so on because it was a line of the prophets inna allah astafa adam wa nuh wa ala ibrahim wa ala imran ala al alamin verily allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose adam and nuh and the progeny of ibrahim and the progeny of imran on all the nations of the world progeny of ibrahim ismail ishaq yaqub alar the progeny of ibrahim then all the other also even muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he belongs to the progeny of ibrahim and all the hebrew prophets also but now specially ala imran imran was the name of the father of hazrat musa and hazrat harun alaihi wasallam and in that very line were the mother of hazrat masih alaihi salam hazrat maryam so now that is given line of the dynasty zurriyatan ba'duha min ba'd they are the progeny of one another imran was in the progeny of ibrahim and then yahya isa they were in the progeny of imran so they were progeny of one from other wallahu samiun alim and allah listens to everything and he knows everything is qalat imra'atu imran just remember when the wife of imran said now who is this imran there are two interpretations one is that the maternal grandfather of hazrat masih alaihi salam was also imran and it is just possible the names are repeated you know in the families the name of the great grandfather now that is the same name of the of some offspring so it goes on so one opinion is that it is the name of the maternal grandfather of hazrat maryam salam alaiha and the other is that the, the same name imran has been used that a woman of the family of imran said to allah subhanahu wa taala both are possible is qalat imra'atu imran rabbi inni nazartu laka ma fi batni muharraran fataqabbal minni she was pregnant and she prayed to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh my lord i vow to thee whatever is in my womb and i dedicate him to the, to your service absolving him of all the other responsibilities muharraran absolving him of all the other responsibilities he will be devoted fully full time whole time to the service of your temple inna kanta fataqabbal minni so please accept him from me inna kanta samiul alim definitely you are the only one who listens to everything and who knows everything falamma wada'tha but when she delivered it qalat rabbi inni wada'tuha unsa she was having she was hoping to have a son but now she delivered a daughter qalat rabbi inni wada'tuha unsa she said oh lord i have delivered a daughter wallahu a'lamu bima wada'at there was not no need of telling her telling to allah what he has delivered 
Allah very well knew what he had delivered. Allah knew what was in her womb already. Wallahu a'lamu mimma wadat. Allah very well knew whom he had delivered. Walasa zakar o kalunsa. And the male is not like female. Wa'inni sammai tuha mariyama. And now this is again the saying of the mother of Hazrat Maryam. Inni sammai tuha mariyama. I have given her the name of Mary or Maryam. Wa'inni u'i zuha abbeka. And I give her to your refuge, in your protection. Wa'zurriyataha. Not only him, not only her, but I to her progeny also. To your refuge, min ash-shaitan ar-rajeem, from the shaitan which is accursed and which is outcast. فَتَقَبَّلَهَا رَبُّهَا بِقَبُولِ الْحَسَنِ So Allah accepted her with the best of acceptance. وَأَمْبَتَهَا نَبَاتَ الْحَسَنَا And made her grow in a very beautiful way. وَكَفَّلَهَا زَكَرِيَّا And gave her to the protection of Zakariya alayhi salatu wa salam. And Zakariya was the maternal uncle of Hazrat Masih alayhi salam. The brother-in-law, we should say, of the mother of Hazrat Maryam. Both were sisters. Mother of Yahya, that is wife of Zakariya, and mother of Isa, that is mother of Maryam, they were sisters. وَكَفَّلَهَا زَكَرِيَّا كُلَّمَا دَخَلَ عَلَيْهَا زَكَرِيَّ الْمِحْرَابِ Whenever Zakariya used to enter on the sanctuary where Maryam was living and staying, وَنَدَا عِنْدَهَا رِسْقَى He found their provision. قَالَ يَا مَرْيَمُ أَنَّا لَكِ هَذَا He used to ask her a question. Where from are these things coming to you? Now about this provision, this ka, there are two views. One is that articles of eating, fruits, etc., etc. Although that was not the season. Unseasonal fruit was found and seen with Maryam, alayhi salatu wa salam. So he was astonished. Where from are these things coming to you, O Mary? And the other opinion is that the wisdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given Hazrat Maryam, he was astonished at the wisdom, and he used to ask him, where from have you learned these things? Both these meanings are possible. Qalatu abinindillah. She used to answer, all these things are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He sends me these fruit, or he has given me this knowledge. This is applicable to both the interpretations. In the Allah yarzuqu man yashaw bi ghayre hisab. Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the providence, will provide, can provide whose whomsoever he likes, without any account, without any mayor, out of mayor. Hunalika da zakariya rabbah. At that very moment, we should translate it there and then. Hunalika, there and then. Zakariya also prayed to his Lord. قَالَ رَبِّ حَبْلِي بِالَّذُنْكَ ذُرِّيَةً طَيِّبًا When he saw Hazrat Maryam Salamun Alayha, such a gentle and such a young girl, he had in his mind the desire, in his heart a desire arose naturally. May Allah give me a son like this girl. قَالَ رَبِّ حَبْلِي بِالَّذُنْكَ ذُرِّيَةً طَيِّبًا O Allah, grant me from your own presence. Why this بِالَّذُنْكَ? Because he was very old. And his wife had been barren all the life. They had no issue up till now. And he was very old. So under the normal physical laws, he couldn't accept it. He couldn't expect that there can be some son Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give him. It is in his power, but not according to the general physical law, law of the universe. Milla dunka, from your presence. Rabbi habli milla dunka zurriyatan tayyiba. Inna ka sami'u dua. There is no doubt that you listen to all the prayers. فَنَادَتُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ So the angels called him. وَهُوَ قَائِمٌ يُسَلِّ فِي الْمِحْرَابِ And he was also standing and praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his sanctuary. What did the angels say? أَنَّ اللَّهَ يُبَشِّرُكَ بِيَحْيَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent for you the glad tidings, glad news about Yahya, John, John the Baptist. مُصَدِّقًا بِكَلِمَةٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ He will He will confirm a special kalima from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because Quran says that Hazrat Masih alayhi salam was kalimatullah kalimatum minhu so he will confirm and attest to it 
مصدقم بے کلے مت من اللہ و سیدن و حسورن ہی ول بی اے لیڈر و حسورن این اے ویری چیس پرسن و نبی من الصالحین این ہی ول بی اے پروفیٹ فرم امنگ دی رائٹی ایس سو یو آر گیون دی گلیڈ ٹائڈنگ آف سچ اے گریٹ سن قال رب انہا یکون لی غلام ناو حضرت دکریع علیہ السلام ناو ہی سیس تو اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی او مائی لارڈ ہاو کین آئی گیٹ اے سن وقت بلغ لی القبر آلڈو آئی ہیو ریشت ویری اولڈ ایج اولڈ ایج ہیز اوور ٹیکن می ومراتی آقرن اور مائی وائف ہیز بین بیرن قال کزالک اللہ یفعل ما یشا اللہ سید اللہ ریپلائیڈ ان دس ویری وی ایٹ ویل ہیپن ڈسپائٹ آل دیز تھنگز ایٹ ویل ہیپن بیکاز اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی کن دو وٹ ایور ہی لائکس قال رب جا لی آیا دن ہی پلیڈ او لارڈ گیو می سم سائن اپوائنٹ فار می سم سائن قال آیا تو کا اللہ تو کل لے بننا سا سلا ستا ایام ان اللہ رمزہ دن ہی پلائی واز یو ویل نوٹ بی دی سائن فار یو ایز دن یو ویل نوٹ بی ایبل تو ٹاک تو دی پیپل تو سپیک تو دی پیپل فار تری ڈیز ایکسپٹ ویڈ سگنلز اور جیسچرز ہز یو نوٹ سپیکنگ واز ویڈ ہیلڈ بائی اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی and it was a sign that all these news are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala waskur rabbaka kaseerun and keep remembering Allah wa sabbih bin ashiyya wal ibkar and glorify him in the evenings and in the mornings wa iskalatil malaikatu and just remember and recall when the angel said to Maryam wa iskalatil malaikatu ya Maryam o Maryam in the last tafakeh Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen you wa tahharake and has purified you wa stafaake ala nisail alameen and he has chosen you from among all the women of the world. Ya Maryam uknuti li rabbeke. O Maryam, be obedient to your Lord. Vaschudi and prostrate before him. Varkai and bow before him ma'ar raakeen with those who are bowing before him. Zalika min ambayil ghaib e nuhihi ilayk. These are the news from the unseen that we are revealing to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ma kunta ladaihim is yulquna aqlanahu. You were not present with them when they were casting their lots with their pens to decide, ayyuhum yakfalu maryam. Who will take the charge of maryam? All the people you know, all the servants of the temple of Solomon, they wanted to have Mary in their custody. Now to choose, maryam will remain with whom? They were casting their ballot with their pens to decide. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it that the decision was for Hazrat Zakriya alayhi salatu wa salam as has been mentioned already. وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَهِمْ O Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم You were not with them when they were casting their ballots with their pens. وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَهِمْ is يَخْتَ سِمُونَ And you were not with them when they were fighting and quarreling with each other or arguing with each other and competing and disputing with each other. Who will keep Mary who will keep Maryam in his custody. Is qalat il malaika. And now remember the time, recall the time when the angel said, Ya Maryam, O inna Allah, you must share with me kalimatim min. O Maryam, verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you the good tidings and the good news of a word from him. Hazrat Masih alayhi salam, a word from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ismuhu al-Masihu Isa ibn Maryam. His name will be Al-Masih, Isa ibn Maryam, son of Maryam. Vajihan fi dunya wa l-akhira. Illustrious and honorable in this world also and in the hereafter. Wa bin al-Muqarrabeen. And he will be from among the nearest of him. Who will be nearest to God, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazrat Masih alayhi salam will be one of them. Min al-Muqarrabeen. Wa yukallamu nasu fi al-mahad. And he will speak to the people while in cradle. But kahla. And also when he will be of mature age. This is very important, this kahla word. Because as the history goes, Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam was raised to heaven according to our beliefs and was crucified according to the Christian belief when he was only 33 years. And this word is not applicable to a person of 33 years only. Quran has used this special word, kahla. This kahul is definitely after 40 years. So, Hazrat Masih will have an age where he will be 
this word will be applicable to him in Kahanan, and that will be after his second descent, when he comes again, second coming of Jesus, alayhi salatu was salam. This is a common creed and belief between us and the Christians, second coming of Jesus. But the difference is that they believe that Jesus was crucified, then he was resurrected, and then he was raised to the heaven. And what we believe is that he was not at all crucified. He was raised alive to the heaven, and then both agree that he will come again. So this is a common point, and we must remember it here, and we should repeat it here in this society where you are living, that these points are common, and the only difference is, we believe that he was a prophet of Allah, they believe that he was a part of deity, that's the difference. But you know, as regards the person of Jesus, alayhi salatu was salam, that he was born without a father, this is common between us and Christians. Virgin Mary, she gave birth to Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu was salam. Then he was raised to the heaven, that is common between us and the Christians. The difference is only that they think that he was crucified, then resurrected, and then raised. We say not at all, he was not at all crucified. Wa ma wa ma salamuhu, walakin the matter was become, you know, doubtful for them, was made doubtful by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then again we agree that he will return and he will come again. So these are the points which are common between Muslims and Christians. So word kahla is here very important. Although we can see that there was no need of using this word. Everybody when he is mature of age, he speaks. Why was it mentioned? Actually, speaking in the cradle was something, you know, very extraordinary. So it was mentioned, if it is very uh, natural that it should, should have been mentioned. But why Kahla? There was no need of saying it. The only need is that we must know that he is to come again. Because among the Muslims, so-called Muslims also, there are some people who don't give due importance to the ahadith. They have doubts about these things, which I am telling you. He will be from among the righteous people. The same answer, the same thing that Hazrat Zakriya had said, Anna Yakunuli Gulam, how can there be a son for me when I have been overtaken by old age and my wife has been barren all the life? The same type of astonishment. Hazrat Maryam said, Karat Rabbi Anna Yakunuli Waladun Walam Yam Sasni Bashar. No man has even touched me, ever touched me. How can I give birth to a son? Kala Kazalik. The same answer was given, it will happen like this. Allahu yakhluku ma yasha. Allah create whatever He likes and however He likes, in whichever way He likes. Iza qaza amran fa innama yakulu lahu kun fa yakul. His condition is that when He has decided and decreed something, He only says be and it becomes. Wa yu'allimuhu al-kitaba wal hikmah. Again, the same, you know, glad tiding is coming from the, it is continuing from the angels. Allah will teach him the book as well as the wisdom. But Torah and Injil, and the Torah and the Injil. Israel, and he will be a messenger towards the children of Israel. Now mark the difference here. About John the Baptist, the final the, the final verdict was Nabi Salihin. He will be a Nabi, he will be a prophet from among the righteous. About Jesus alayhi salatu was salam, the wordings are Rasulan ila Bani Israel. He will be a messenger to Bani Israel. And there's a difference between prophets and messengers. All the messengers are prophets, but all the prophets are not messengers. Messengers cannot be killed. Prophets have been killed. Hazrat Yahya was a prophet, not messenger. He 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 was killed and murdered. Hazrat Zakriya was a prophet and not, not messenger. He was killed and murdered. Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam, he was a messenger, he was a rasul, he could never be killed. Katab Allahu la aghle banna ana wa rasuli. Allah has decided it, decreed it, that I, myself and my messengers will triumph finally. They will be saved and they will be supreme. They cannot be killed, they cannot be defeated. Now what, the, what, what Hazrat Masih said to his people, now it is coming. Anni qadje tukum bi ayatim min rabbikum. I have come to you with a sign from your Lord. What are these no signs? Anni akhluku lakum min atine kahayati tayr. I make from the clay something, some shape of a bird. Fa anfukufihe, then breathe into it. 
فیقول و تیرم بیز اللہ اینڈ اٹ بیکمز اے برڈ اے فلائنگ برڈ ود دی پرمیشن ود دی گرانٹ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی وہ ابر الکم ولابرسا اینڈ آئی کیور دی بورن بلائنڈ اینڈ دی لیپرس وہ موتا اینڈ آئی کین ریوائو آئی کین برنگ ٹو لائف دی ڈیڈ بیز اللہ بائی دی کمانڈ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی ان If you are from among the believers. وَمُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيَّ مِنَ التَّوْرَةِ The speech of Hazrat Masih is continuing. And I am confirming what is present before me مِنَ التَّوْرَةِ وَلِعُحِلَّ لَكُمْ بَعْضَ الَّذِي حُرِّمُ عَلَيْكُمْ And I have been sent to declare something which had been forbidden for you to be lawful. وَجَيْتُكُمْ بِآيَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ And I have come with all these signs from your Lord. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَاتِعُونَ So you should have fear of Allah, you should have regard of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you should obey me, because the messengers are to be obeyed anyhow, as we discussed in the last session. اِطَاعَةَ Obedience to the messenger of Allah, that is essential for every Muslim. إِنَّ اللَّهَ رَبِّي وَرَبُّكُمْ فَعْبُدُوهُ And the final wordings of Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam, The final article of his da'wah, Inna Allah Rabbi wa Rabbukum. Allah is my Lord as well as your Lord. Fa'budu. So you should be, you should serve him, you should worship him, you should obey him, you should adore him, you should love him. You know this word ibadah, it cannot be translated again by any one single word of English language. To worship, to obey, to adore, to love. If you join all these four words, then the concept and connotation of ibadah can be conveyed. Otherwise not. Hada siratul mustaqim. This is the straight path. This is the right way. فَلَمَّا أَحَسْتَ عِيسَى مِنْ هُمُ الْكُفْرِ When Isa alayhi salatu wa salam perceived from them the disbelief that they are going to reject me, they are going to oppose me, they are going to show enmity towards me, قَالَ مَنْ أَنْصَارِي إِلَى اللَّهِ There's going to be a conflict. So I should have some supporters. I should have some helpers. So he called to the people, قَالَ مَنْ أَنْصَارِي إِلَى اللَّهِ Who is my helper in the way of Allah? قَالَ الْحَوَارِيُّونَ The Hawariyeen, his, his companions. He replied, نَحْنُ أَنْصَارُ اللَّهِ We are the helpers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ We believe in Him. وَشْحَدْ بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ So you also be a witness that we surrender ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are from among the Muslims. We are from among the believers. You also testify and we are here. We will be helping you in the way of Allah. رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا This is again the saying of the same Habariyun companions. رَبَّنَا آمَنَّا بِمَا أَنزَلْتَا O our Lord, we believe in whatever you have sent down. The Injil that was sent down on Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. وَتَبَعْنَا الرَّسُولِ And we are following. We are doing ittiba. Now again the word is ittiba here. First it was ittah and now ittiba. وَتَبَعْنَا الرَّسُولِ We are following your messenger. فَاكْتُبْنَا مَا شَاهِدِينَ You also write us our names among those who are witnesses to you. Now from this very point, witnesses, you have the sect of the Christians, Jehovah's Witnesses. Actually, because, you know, the source is the same. The terminology is the same. Jehovah's Witnesses. Actually, this Ummah has been created to be witnesses unto the whole of mankind. كَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطًا لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَيَكُونُوا الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَيْتًا Every messenger of Allah was a witness to his nation, to his people, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this Ummah has been created to be witnesses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unto the whole of mankind and over the whole of mankind. So they said, write our names among the witnesses. فَاكْتُبْنَا مَا شَاهِدِينَ وَبَكَرُوا وَبَكَرَ اللَّهِ And they plotted against him. The Jews, their rabbis, who were much offended 
by Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. They felt threatened. Their position was in jeopardy. So they had to oppose. Wa makaru, and now they started planning and conspiring against Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wa salam. Wa makaru, wa makar Allah. And Allah also planned. Wa Allahu khairul makirin. And He is definitely, Allah is definitely the best of the planners. Is qal Allahu ya Isa inni mutawaffika. And recall the time when Allah said to Jesus alayhi salatu wa salam, Ya Isa, O Isa, inni mutawaffika, I am now going to recall you. I am now going to take you back. Warafi'uka ilayya. And I will lift you. And this was lift, lifting was bodily lifting. It was not, you know, only spiritual lifting. The whole tawaffi, the word, you know, tawaffi, it means taking something, taking something in possession. And this has been used in three senses in the Quran. Allah yatawaffal anfusahina mautiha wallati lantamut fi manamiha. When we sleep, our consciousness is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is also tawaffi. When we die, our nafs is taken, our life is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we sleep, only consciousness is taken. Body is there, present here, and the life is also there in the body. Only consciousness is taken, and this is tawaffi. And when someone of us dies, his, his life is also taken, along with the consciousness. This is also tawaffi. And Hazrat Isa was taken, Allah took the position of Isa, his consciousness, plus his life, plus his body. And that was the complete tawaffi. Inni mutawaffika. This word is applicable in its total sense on Hazrat Masih alayhi salatu wasalam only. Otherwise, when we die, this word is partially applicable because the body remains here. It goes to the dust. Only the life and the consciousness is taken by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But you know, when Jesus was taken, he was taken whole. The body as well as the life as well as the consciousness. Is قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِسَىٰ إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّا And lifting you up towards me. وَمُتَحِّرُكَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And I will purify you against those who have disbelieved you, who have leveled charges against you. I will absolve you of all the charges. وَجَعِلُ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا And I will make those who follow you over those who have denied you. And that is the thing we find throughout the history. Christians have been above the Jews all the time. And now, in our time also, all the Jews, you know, they have a state of their own. And they are, so to say, now very respected, they hold very respectable position. But this is also due to the protection of the Christians. That's under the protection and guardianship of the Christians that they have all these facilities and all these positions. Otherwise, they themselves are nothing. And the Christians are above them. وَجَعِلُ الَّذِينَ تَبَعُوكَ فَوْقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَىٰ يَوْمِ الْقِيَامَةِ And this will happen till the day of judgment. سُمَّ إِلَيَّ مَرْجِعُكُمْ Then all of you will have to return to me. فَأَحْكُمَ وَيَنَكُمْ فِي مَا كُنْتُ فِيَ تَخْتَلِفُونَ And then I will judge between you about those things about which you had been differing. فَأَمَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا What will be the judgment? فَأَمَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا As for those who had made kufr, committed kufr, who had denied the ayat of Allah, فَأَرَزَّبُهُمْ عَزَابًا شَدِيدًا I will put, to the mo- to put them to the most severe punishment فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةِ In this world also and in the hereafter also. وَمَا لَهُمْ مِنْ نَاصِرِينَ And they will have no helpers. Nobody will be, a- be able to, sor- to save them. On the contrary, وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Those who have come to believe, وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ And they have done good deeds, فَيُوَفِّيهِمْ أُجُورَهُمْ so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them their rewards in full. Wallahu la yuhibbu zalimeen. Allah does not like the evil doers. Zalika natluhu alayka minal ayati wa zikil hakeem. This is what we are reciting to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from the signs of Allah and from the admonition that has wisdom. A zikril hakeem, wise admonition. In the Masala Isa, now this is the point about which all this argument has been, you know, built up. Because before that deportation of the Christians, Christian, Christian, you know, ulama, the knowledgeable persons, now this is the final verdict. In the Masala Isa, in the Lahika Masala Adam. 
if you think that because jesus was born without any man father therefore the father was god that's the only argument that you can say because he was born without father without any human father so definitely that place has been filled by allah subhanahu wa taala himself so he is the son of god what will you say about adam he was created without father without mother he was created out of clay so this is the final argument inna masala isa indallah kama sala adam the likeliness of jesus with allah is to the likeness of adam alayhi salatu wassalam khalaqahu min turabin he created him out of clay summa qala lahu kun fayakun and then he said to him be and he became so it is the power of allah subhanahu wa taala it is the authority of allah subhanahu wa taala he can do anything he is badiu samawati wal ard he created all these heavens and earth without anything so he can create whomsoever he likes without anything he created hazrat e masih alaihi salam without father it doesn't mean that he is son of god he is son of mary that is why throughout quran we find isa ibn maryam he is son of mary he has a mother al haqq min rabbik and this is the truth from your lord fala takum min al mumtarin so you should not be from those who have doubts faman hajja ka fihi bi ba'd ma ja'aka min al ilm and now o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam who ever argues with you about jesus after this knowledge real knowledge that has come to you faqul then say to them ta'alu nad'u abna'ana this is called mubahala final thing when you have argued between two persons have argued between themselves and still you know this had the matter not settled now this is the final thing that we find in the quran mubahala will come here ta'alu nad'u abna'ana wa abna'akum we call our sons you call our sons your sons wa nisana wa nisaakum we call and bring forth our women and you call and bring forth your women wa anfusana wa anfusakum we come ourselves and you also come yourself summa nabtahil then we shall pray to allah subhanahu wa taala we shall pray most humbly most sincerely fa naj'al la'nat allah 'ala al-kaadhibin and then we shall invoke his curse curse of allah subhanahu wa taala over over that party who is lying who is telling a lie invoking the curse of allah subhanahu wa taala oh allah whosoever from amongst us is a liar is telling a lie let your curse be befall on him this is called mubahala this joint prayer together they gathered that was the challenge that muhammad sallam gave but those people you know those religious leaders of the christians of najran they not they didn't accept the challenge the evening before this ayat was revealed and the next morning they left without further talking to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they left madina for their city of najran neither they accepted islam nor they continued their argument with muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that was the final point الحق من ربك فلا تكن من الممترين فمن حاجك فيه من بعد ما جاءك من العلم now this real knowledge has come to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now if somebody is still are going he doesn't want to accept it now the only thing only way that remains is to decide the matter that you do mubahala you challenge them qul ta'ala nadu abna'ana wa abna'akum come on you call your sons bring forth them we call our sons and we come together then you also bring your women and we also bring our women and you come yourself and we come ourselves and then we shall jointly pray to allah subhanahu wa taala most humbly most sincerely from the depths of our hearts that oh allah subhanahu wa taala whosoever from amongst us is wrong and whosoever is telling a lie then you let your curse fall on him in hadha lahu al qasas al haq definitely this is the correct narration this is the true account of whatever has happened mama bin ilahi illa allah there is no god except allah wa inna allah lahu al aziz al hakim and definitely and surely allah is the only one who has all authority and who has the total wisdom fa in tawalla fa inna allah alim bil mufsidin and if they turn away if they turn their backs they go away 
then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very well aware of these mischief mongers. He knows them. So he will punish them when the time comes. قُلْ يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ تَعَالَ وَإِلَىٰ كَلِمَةٍ سَوَائِمْ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَكُمْ Here at the ayah number 63, the second portion of this first part, first half of Surah Ali Ibrahim comes to an end. Now the four sections, till the tenth section. Now there is a general da'wah, general call to Bani Israel and Christians. But now actually the term is common. In Surah Al-Baqarah we found, Ya Bani Israel. Here in these 31 ayat, it was for the Nasara, totally exclusive for the Christians. Because their belief about Hazrat Jesus a.s. that has been rectified. But now you will find Ahlul Kitab. And Ahlul Kitab will include both the groups. So there is discussion, there is argument, there is blaming also, there is calling also. Inviting them to accept Islam and also criticizing them on their wrong ideas, wrong beliefs for four continuous. And then, just as we found in the third part of the first half of Surah Al-Baqarah, mention of Hazrat Ibrahim a.s. And then, you know, mention of Kaaba, Kaabatullah. All these things will also be repeated here because these two surahs are very similar to each other. As I told you, they go to make one pair. Now the call is here. Qul, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, say to them, Ta'ala o ila kalimatin sawaim bainana wa bainakum. Come to one word, one kalima, one basic principle, which is common between us, between you and between us. Allah na'abuda illa Allah. That we shouldn't worship anybody, anything except Allah. وَلَا نُشْرِكَ بِهِ شَيْئًا And we shouldn't associate with him anything, anyone. We shouldn't associate with him any partner, any equal. وَلَا يَتَّخِذَ بَعْضُنَا بَعْضًا أَرْبَابًا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ And we should not take one another from among us as lords along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What does it mean? وَلَا نَتَّخِذَ بَعْضُهُمْ بَعْضًا أَرْبَابًا مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ how do people become Arbaab? Bindulillah. That was a question that was posed before Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by Adi ibn Hatim. Hatim, you know, this famous person, the generous person. Hatim with Sakhawa, generosity, that's proverbial. His son Adi, he was a Christian. And then when he embraced Islam, he asked a question to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How come Quran says that we have made men as lords along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have never made our Ahbar and Ruhban as lords. We never worship them. The Prophet replied, please remember, is it not correct that whatever they declare haram, you accept haram? Whatever they declare permissible, you accept it to be permissible? They said it so. Because you know, in Christianity, modern Christianity, the law of Moses was abrogated by St. Paul. The law was abrogated. So this is a religion without law. No Pope has the authority to declare everything. Just as among the Ismailites, Ismaili, you know, people who call themselves Muslims, their Imam is Imam Masum, infallible Imam. He can declare anything to be permissible or to be haram. He has the authority to declare anything to be permissible or haram. So that is the case with the Christians. And this is the authority of Allah only. To declare anything to be halal or declare anything to be haram, this is exclusive right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you accept this right for anybody else, he has become a lord along with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has become a god along with God. So this is actually here. We shouldn't hold among sons one another as lords beside the lord, real lord, that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Find tawallaw. Now if they turn away, if they don't respond positively to your call, فَقُولُ شَدُوا بِأَنَّا مُسْلِمُونَ Then you should say, O oh Muslims, be witness, we are Muslims. Whether you accept Islam or not, but listen, we are Muslims. يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ لِمَا تُحَجُّونَ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمِ O people of the book, now you'll find the word أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ It includes both Jews and Christians. يَا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ لِمَا تُحَجُّونَ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمِ O oh, people of the book, why are you arguing about Ibrahim? Although you also accept that Torah was sent down after Ibrahim. Injil was sent down after Ibrahim. Ibrahim was a prior personality. So he couldn't be a Jew. 
he couldn't be a Christian. So there can be no argument about Ibrahim. Afala taqilun. Do you have no understanding? Do you have no intellect? Haan tum haulai haajay tum fiba lakum bhi ilm. You have been arguing up till now about which you had some knowledge. Falima tu haajju na fiba lesa lakum bhi ilm. Why are you arguing now about a thing about which you have no knowledge at all? Wallahu yaalamu an tum la taalamun. Allah knows and you don't know. Ma kana Ibrahim wa Yahudiyya wa la Nasraniyya. Ibrahim was not at all either a Jew or a Christian. Walakin kana Hanifam Muslima. He was the Muslim. He had submitted to Allah and he was Hanif. That is who turned away from all falsehood. He was not tolerating any falsehood, anything which is false. Hanifam Muslima, and he was pure Muslim. He submitted to the will of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Wama kana min al Mushrikin, and he was not from among those who associate anyone or anything with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Inna aul al Nas ibn Ibrahim al Nazi tamawa wa had al Nabi wa al Nazi na abnu wa Allahu wa liyul Mu'minin. Surely the people who are closest to Ibrahim are those who are following him, not who take his name only. In all the nations of Ibrahim, the Lazina Tabaru, the people closest to Ibrahim are definitely those, naturally those who had followed him, and that is this Rasul, this Nabi, Yani Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He is the follower of Ibrahim. Well, Lazina Amalu, and who have come to believe in him, in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Wallahu waliyul mu'minin, and Allah is the protector and the helper of these mu'minin, these believers. وَدَّتْ طَائِفَةٌ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ لَا يُضِلُّونَكُمْ وَمَا يُضِلُّونَ إِلَّا أَنْفُسَهُمْ A group from among the أهل الكتاب, a group from among the people of the book, they are bent upon taking you astray. They want to take you back from Islam, taking you away from Islam. وَمَا يُضِلُّونَ إِلَّا أَنْفُسَهُمْ But they will not be able to misguide anybody except their own selves. وَمَا يَشْعُرُونَ But they don't have the understanding. They don't have the perception. Ya ahl al kitab, lema takfuruna bi ayatil. Now see the appeal, the style of appeal, appealing to any good sense in them. Ya ahl al kitab, lema takfuruna bi ayatil. I want to tashadun. Oh people of the book, why are you belying? Why are you denying the ayat of Allah? Want to tashadun? And you are yourself in your hearts. You are a witness to it that this is correct. From your heart, you have recognized the Quran and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Even wantun tashhadun, you are yourself testifying. Your hearts are testifying to the truth of Quran, and even then you are belying it, you are denying it. Ya al kitab lima takfuruna bi ayat Allah wantun tashhadun. Ya al kitab lima talbisun al haq bil baatil. The same verse which appeared in the fifth section of Surah Al Baqarah. ولا تلبس الحق بالباطل وتكتم الحق وانتم تعلمون يا اهل الكتاب لم تلبسون الحق بالباطل او بيبل اوف ذا بوك واي ار يو كفرنج ذا تروث وذ فالس هود وتكتمون الحق اند يو ار كونسيلين اند هايدنج ذا تروث وانتم تعلمون اند يو ار دوينج ات نوينجلي يو نو ذات يو ار دوينج سمثينج رونج يو نو ذات ذس از حق اند وات يو ار ترينج اند تو كفر يو نو وذ ذات از باطل بت يو ار دوينج ات وقال طائفه من اهل الكتاب And so conspired a group of the people of the book, a few Jews, you know, in Medina. They made a conspiracy because they saw that the Muslims they are so strict and they are so steadfast in their religion that whosoever embraces Islam, whatever might happen to him, he never goes back. He is ready to lay down his life. He is ready to sacrifice all his belongings. He never goes back from Islam. So to break, you know, the moral courage, the support that the Muslims were getting from this fact, they made a conspiracy. What was the conspiracy? Declare in the morning to be Muslims. You one day remain a Muslim, in the evening you declare kafir, and you go back to your former religion, so that this goodwill of Islam, this goodwill of Iman, that can be broken. People will think. Some of the, some of the people will be forced to think. What happened? These were very gentle people. They came. They accepted Islam. They appeared to be very sincere. They remained with the Prophet all the day. There must be something wrong. They must have seen something. 
due to which they have gone back. So this can bring about they raised doubts among the minds of weak Muslims. All they were Muslims of all grades. They are Muslims who are very strong in their faith, and they were Muslims also who had just recently converted to Islam. So they could bring, you know, doubts. They could produce doubts in the minds of such weak Muslims. So that was the conspiracy. Now read the ayah. Wakala ta'ifatu min ahlil kitab, and so said a group of the people from the book, people of the book. You declare to be Mu'min about that which has been sent down to these believers. You declare that we believe in Quran, that this is the word of Allah. Aminu billazi unzila ala lazina amanu. Whatsoever has been sent on these believers, you also declare that you believe in it. Wajhan nahar at the break of the day. Wakfuru akhirahu and in the evening. You deny it. You return to your own religions, your formal religion. La Allahum yarjoon. So in this way we can hope that some of them also will will come back, will come out, and doubts will appear in their minds. Walatu menu illa leban tabeya dina ko, dina ko. But never believe except on that person who follows your deen. This will be only to show off. This will only be a drama. You are not going to believe. Walato menu illa leman tabeya dina kum. Except that person who follows your deen. Inna al huda huda Allah. Now this is a comment from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and the guidance is the guidance of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. An yuta ahadun mislama uti tum, or you had you kum behi in the Rabbi kum. Lest someone else may be granted the like of what you have been granted, or they would prevail over you in the argument before your Lord. Don't tell them what signs of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam are there in the Torah, so that they cannot argue with you on the day of judgment before Allah subhanahu wa taala. You have to follow your own deen, but you know to bring and produce doubts in the minds of some Muslims. We shall declare to be Muslims for some time, temporarily. Qul inna al-fadl bi yadillah yutihi ma yasha wa Allah wasiun alim. Tell them, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that all bounty is in the hands of Allah. He gives it. He grants it to whomsoever he likes. Wallahu wassalam alim. And Allah is all embracing, all knowing. Yaqtasu bi rahmatihi ma yasha. He singles out for his mercy whomsoever he likes. Wallahu dzul fadl alazim. And Allah has great bounty. Wa min ahlil kitab man intaman ho bi intarin yuan dehi like. And among these people of the book, there are some in whose custody, if you give. A lot of wealth, intarin, they will return it to you. You are the he like. Wa minhu man intaman ho bi dinarin, and there is among them, if you trust him with only one dinar, la you are the he like. He will not return it to you. Illa ma dum taale he kaima, except if you keep standing over his head, you can only extract back your one dinar from him with force. Otherwise, he is not going to return it to you. Now this is, you know, very important that Quran wants and is doing justice to them also. All of them were not so bad. Individually, some people were present in the Jews, although they were this percentage was very low, but in the Christians it was quite high at the time of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There were people who were knowledgeable and who were practicing their deen. You know the Muhira Rahim. He recognized Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his childhood. Then a Christian, a knowledgeable person, he guided Hazrat Salman Farsi that he allowed Allah, and under his guidance, Hazrat Salman came to the Arabian Peninsula, and he could join the party of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he became the companion of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. In the same way, you know that the ruler of uh, the Alexandria, he sent to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam presents. Hercule, Heraclius, he also had recognized Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So people among Christians, you know, there were people who were very much knowledgeable and they were, you know, having good characters. But among the Jews, even there were certain people. After all, Abdullah ibn Salam, رضي الله تعالى عنه, he was a very big alim among the Jews. He was a rabbi and he accepted Islam, embraced Islam, and he was a very true and sincere sahabi of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. 
So Quran acknowledges whatever good was there in them. Min whom there are among them persons who are so honest that if you entrust a treasure, a very big amount of gold in their custody, they will prove to be ameen, they will be trustworthy, they will return it to you. But among them there are, there are people whom at, if you entrust even one dinar, you will not be able to get it back. Except by force, illa madum taala hai kaima. If you keep standing over his head, otherwise you know there is no possibility of your dinar getting back. So this is the condition in which this nation was at that time. Zale ka bhi anna hum kalu. Why have they degraded to such low level morally? What is the reason? Zale ka bhi anna hum kalu. Lay saale na filumiyi na sabil. This is the dogma. And this has been given in detail in a picture, in a documentary that was prepared here regarding the teachings of Talmud. You might have seen it. And now the person who prepared that documentary, I think he has been killed. The other is Rahim. So Talmud actually, they don't act on Torah basically. Their legal code is Talmud. Their practices are basically, they are derived from Talmud. That is their book of action. Torah, you know, it is a book of history. Mostly it is a book of history. The real Sharia of Yahud, the real commandments, the real laws and regulations, details, they are in the Talmud. And in Talmud it is clearly written that about Gentiles and Goyams, you are free to do whatever you like. You cheat them, you deceive them, you rob them, you kill them, you can do whatever you like to do. And there will be no question from you on the Day of Judgment. You will not be accountable. You will not be questionable on account of doing any injustice, doing any dishonesty with any non-Jew. The non-Jew whom they call the Gentiles. They are the Gentiles. They are the, the Goyams. They are like animals. They are only in human form. Really, they are animals. Quran also testifies to this creed of theirs. This is because they have concocted a belief that we are not to be blamed for anything about these Ummiyin. Or who are Ummiyin? Who have no book? The non-Jews. They were without law. They were the Ummiyin of Arab. And now they say this word is used by the Jews for every human being who is non-Jew, who is not a Jew. We can do anything with them the like. وَيَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ And they are assigning lie to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a big lie. Ascribe a false and forged thing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَيَقُولُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And they are doing it knowingly. بَلَا مَنْ أَوْفَى بِعَحْدِهِ وَالتَّقَى Why not? Whosoever fulfills his covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The covenant that we made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before coming in this world. That was the covenant which is described in Surah Al-A'raf, Alastu bi rabbikum kalu bala. So number two covenant, every Muslim, he makes a covenant. Sabayna wa ta'ana. We listen and we obey. In the same way the Jews made a covenant when Torah was given to them. So whosoever fulfills his covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa taqa, and he was God-fearing. He saved himself from breaking the divine law and breaking the divine injunctions. Inna Allah yuhibbul muttaqeen So Allah loves such people who are God-fearing, who are pious. Inna al-lazina yashtaruna bi'ahdillahi wa aymanihim sabanan qalila Verily those people who barter Allah's covenant and their oaths for a very small price. They are bartering away, they are selling the book of Allah, they are selling the fatwas, they are selling the deen, they are selling you so to say their own covenants. And the agreement that they made with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and what are they getting? Some worldly things? Are they very valuable? No. Samanan qalila, for very low price. Ulaika la khalaqa lahum fil akhirah. For them there will be no share in the hereafter. Wala yukallamuhum Allah. Allah will not speak to them, talk to them. Wala yanzuru ilayhim yawm al qiyamah. And will not look towards them on the day of judgment. Wala yudakkihim and will not purify them. وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ And for them will be a very painful torment, very painful punishment. وَإِنَّ مِنْهُمْ لَفَرِيقًا يَلْفُونَ أَلْسِنَتَهُمْ بِالْكِتَابِ And from among them there are a people, there are some group, who used to twist their tongues 
with this book to distort its meanings just as we have seen the examples samina wa asaina atana change to asaina raina change to raina so there are from among them some people who twist their tongues with the book le tahsabuhu min al kitab so that you must suppose that this is the book of allah that they are reading what they are saying is in the book of allah wa ma huwa min al kitab while that is not from the book they are creating it by the twist of their tongues wa yaquluna huwa min indillah and they are claiming that it is from allah wa ma huwa min indillah and really it is not from allah wa yaquluna ala allah al kadhib and they are ascribing towards allah whatever is wrong and a lie and false wa hum ya'lamun and they are doing it knowingly ma kana li basharin an yutiyahu allah al kitaba wal hukma wal nubuwa it is not possible it doesn't become of a human being ma kana li basharin an yutiyahu allah al kitaba that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him the book wal hukma and the wisdom wal nubuwata and the prophethood summa yaqula lin nas and then he may say to the people kunu ibadal li be bonds men to me serve me worship me min doon allah along with allah or instead of allah min doon means two things instead of allah don't worship allah worship me this is actually this criticism is towards the christians that allah subhanahu wa taala gave hazrat isa alaihi salam al kitab he gave him al hukm the wisdom he gave him the prophethood now how was it possible that he could have said to the people you should worship me you should hold me as a god you should accept me as a god with allah or besides allah or instead of allah walakin kunu rabbaniyin the only thing that he could say was you should become godly you should become people of allah you should become the bondsmen to allah you should become the worshippers of allah bima kuntum tu'allimun alkitab on the basis of which in accordance with how you have been reading the book and you have been teaching the book the book that you have been teaching to people that is torah that actually torah contradicts every statement of yours torah says allah is one torah is against shirk so how can you expect hazrat masih alaihi salatu wassalam that he might have asked the people that they should worship him walakin kunu rabbaniyina bima kuntum tu'allimun alkitaba wa bima kuntum tadrusun what you have been studying yourself wala yamurukum an tattakhidhu almalaikata wan nabiyya arbaba and it couldn't be possible for him that he could have ordered you that you accept the angels or the prophets as rabb as lords ayaburukum bil kufr ba'da idhan tum muslimun could he have ordered you commanded you to kufr after that you would be muslims it was impossible it's your own imagination it's your own concoction it's nothing to do with the reality barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al azim wa nafa'ani wa iyyakum bil ayati wa zikri al hakim